guys. Now, we're talking about, okay, our team comp, like I said, we have to snowball early on the game. And I'm Zeratul right now, and my goal is literally, like, I know, I, the only people I can kill on their team, really, is in a solo lane, is uh, Jaina, or Biceps, or I should say KT, and then Illidan if he goes aggro. Now, Illidan in the first game was going aggro because he didn't expect me to kill him, because if I have an Aberthur hat, and, like, he Ws or Qs in or anything, literally Brightwing Ws him, and then I have Aberthur hat, I'll one-shot him before he can even evasion or anything. But because he knew that after game one, game two, he played really like safe until his team could uh, could run in. So because of that, all I need to do is I need to make sure that my lanes can play aggressive. And then when my lanes play aggressive, all I need to do is make sure instead of like ganking or counter ganking or anything like that, fuck with Muradin and fuck with Jaina because they will be roaming together. I just need to make sure that they can't roam successfully. And because they knew exactly what we're trying to do. It doesn't work out nearly as well when we do get picked out a lot. All right, we're gonna we're gonna fast forward the beginning of this, and okay. Another tip when you're watching replays, if you don't want to see both the enemies, because like literally I couldn't see them when I was playing, hit one through five. I'm zero two, so I'll hit two. Now you have your team vision and all the cooldowns and everything. All right, for here we just know like fuck it. We we wanted uh Zagara against Illidan because he she wins in lane, and you can just uh hat her and she'll be really strong. And if she gets creep tumors up, then we can keep uh. Another huge thing is that Brightwing can always Z whoever needs it, and Aberthur can soak the uh, the, the lane while she Zs. So like she, Brightwing is always never hesitating to use a Z whenever because Aberthur will always soak. Right here, I'm just on bottom. I'm just scouting out because I'm scared of uh, Murd and Jaina. But I see them mid, and then I really can't do shit because like their team knows now. They literally just play passive because they know they can die. So they're playing a lot smarter compared to game one. We're just waiting. All I need to do though is hold Muradin and what do you call it as much as possible. And Johanna has really good wave clear because of Night Sick Pawn. Top is playing super aggro because he he beats Illidan if he has a hat. Now I'm just getting regen globes because like I know they saw me, but they already they're it's not really gonna do anything anyways. Okay, I have no clue why it looks like that, but whatever I'm owning. Alright, right there, all I have to do is just make sure that I, I always have vision of them. And like I said, I just gotta keep fucking with them. That's it. That's my whole goal. I have no clue why we look so dumb, but whatever. I'm actually gonna rewind like a second to try and fix that, because <laughs> we look funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, there's like no attack animation at all. Maybe if I hit E. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but whatever. We're, we're, we're zooming through there. No attack animations. I do have no clue how to fix this bug. I don't even know what caffeine's doing there, but whatever. We're in there. The goal, okay, like I said, the goal of me, though, is literally just fuck with uh, Jaina and Muradin because their roam is way stronger and get free picks when they have coins. But like, he's not even going for coins or gems, and Zagar has to play passive because they will easily kill her with one leap clap into slow from K1 and then just a random storm bolt into Blizzard. So right now, I, I and then they know to play passive top. <laughs> this is hilarious though. I have no clue why it's so bugged. Alright, so should I just restart it? Oh whatever, what are we talking about? Alright, so oh wait, I need to hit two, so I, okay, so this is the vision. And the current state of the game, Zagara has to play passive, and I'm I'm just literally just trying to like I said, I'm just a ward. I'm a moving ward. Fuck with Jaina, fuck with Murden, because the realm is stronger. Keep early game. Now the thing is with our team comp. Is the second one we hit four, which is our plan to hit four before them, that way we have the talent lead, is to push top, like, or top or bottom, and take out the bullets as fast as possible. Because once they don't have bullets, we can start promoting, and you, when you have promote, you have, to you have to send heroes to deal with it. And when they send heroes to deal with it, we go to the other lanes and play really aggressive, because they have to keep heroes to deal with the promote. If they don't deal with the promote, then we just play passive until we see them, and then they have nothing dealing with the promote. But because they know what we're doing, uh, they're playing a lot smarter and we're really not getting too like too much done like they did get a kill on Johanna because she went a little too aggro and then right now it's just literally try to get forward try and make a play with promote and we're losing the early game which we really desperately needed to play Alright, I should we get a gank here. It's a good catch out. He shouldn't have been that far out, but we get a catch, but like this kill, 
Like, it's nice, like, it's good, because they're, they're top, so we know we can get a kill, but they get a, a bundle kill, but the thing that sucks is, like, he had one gem. Like, getting this kill is nice, he gets a kill, they can't get the XP and shit, but, like, because if he had lots of gems, then that kill's super huge, but because he has one gem, it's just a kill. Like, they do get a little experience, and we hit four, and now they know to go to Dread and gank him, because Dread has, what do you call it? Uh, this is really good on our phone to pick up the coins, because they knew they wasted the cooldowns, but because he has, a. Uh, because he has promote, they know to go to his lane, kill him, and then push out the wave. So he can't just promote for free. So, like, it's really shitty that they know our strat. So, like, this game is, like, really hard to, to win the early game because they know exactly what we're trying to do now. So now we're pushing out top. I have no clue why this animation looks hilarious. I'm actually just going to restart this fucking replay. Let's be real. Like, I can't, I can't be looking at this. Alright. Watch. Tomb of Spider Queen. Then let's go. Like, that shit was looking way too crazy, dude. Now let's fast forward again. Try and get to the, where we were. And I'll explain. I, I, I haven't really been explaining what I should be doing compared to, like, what our team plan was. But that's fine, I think. Alright, whatever. Keep fast forward. I think we have auto. Oh, yeah, regular auto. So I'm good. Wait till we get about four minutes in. <clears throat> How's that 335? Thank you. I'm waiting. Alright, yeah, we just got the kill. It's 320. Okay, we're waiting. Okay, 335. Alright. Right here, I, I don't know what I decided to do. What do I do? Jungle? Alright. They're, okay, jungle is really risky. If they if they're holding tab and they're checking siege, then like I'm really scared. But I look at their coins and I see they don't have enough for a turn in. And even if they do turn in, we can't stop them. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'm gonna do jungle and then everyone's swinging passive. Like they could invade me, but because we have like kind of sight of them, I'm not too scared. And like, where's Jaina? Yeah, Jaina's mid. So like, I'm not too scared. So we go to jungle. I get free night camp. For some reason, like, Abathur hats me, and then he lets go of the hat, and then he's like, I can't hat you anymore, so I take a shit ton of damage, so, like, I could've got really fucked. Like, right here, he's like, dude, I can't hat for some reason. I'm like, what? I'm like, hat me, hat me, and I just keep getting fucked. But we still get the kill. Dread is getting caught out a lot, like, he probably should be playing more passive, but I think he's a little on tilt because of the remake. Because, like, if, if you're ever scared, just let, like, literally play passive, and then just let Abathur soak the XP from the mob. Like, no one can just kill a, a mob instantly anyways, you always get the XP. So I get I get knights. The reason why I got knights is because there's really nothing to do. I can't counter gank. I can't gank really a lane. I'm just hoping to hit seven when I get follow through, and then once I get follow through, try and make a play because I get lots of damage. He's gonna turn in. I'm just gonna stop it. I'm like, hey bitch, take an auto. That's my focus attack already. I get hatted. I, I'm always paying attention to Murden, and because I'm knights, they're, I know they're trying to make a play. So like, this is our best time to turn in. We have 10, 20, 30, 40. We have 50 gems almost. Like, so we can pretty much turn in while they clear the knights. And that's another reason why, like, the knights are a huge deal is because it makes pressure here. You get free turns. Like, usually the people that are vulnerable targets turn in. And right now I'm just fucking with them as much as possible. As you can see, I'm always making Muradin throw his stun on me and then just blinking it. I'm just trying to bait it as much as possible because that's the only way people can die. So I'm getting a turn in. I'm chilling. Like, yeah, got to turn in. Dredd tries to turn in. I don't think he gets the night. I don't know. We hit seven and I know I can kill people. I know I can kill someone really fucking quick now. So I try and gank bottom. Because uh, Kael'thas is really squishy, especially with Hat. <clears throat> oh, I missed my Q, my W. That was actually a really bad W that I missed. I really need to be landing that shit. It's so, super, super important. Because that's the difference between me get, getting a kill. On Murden, it's not too big a deal. But yeah, right here, like doing free chunk damage is really good. Like, anytime I make him click well or he's not at full HP, is like a chance I have to kill him. He's playing super passive now. Um... One thing I, sh I could say what we needed to be doing, actually, is, like, when I see Jaina here, even though I, like, we, we, we see him here, right? Because this is our vision. We can see all of him here. What I needed to be doing is calling Dread. Like, Dread uh, got promote this game, but in, like, since they know exactly what our plan is, he shouldn't have promote. He should have in Venom. And, like, I literally should be playing. Like, I give zero fucks. I should have 100% hat on me, and I should go mid, have him Z me, because I'm in stealth. They don't see the animation. Blink on K1 Pro. Get into Venom. 
hex him, and then a WQ auto, and then we just kill him and get the fuck out. And that's all we need to be doing. It's like a three-man submarine roving squad. Hat on me, Abathur body soak, and then dread disease. Anytime it's easy up, I go for kills. Even after, if I have to dive a fucking fort. Like, that's what we should be doing. And because we're not doing that, we're, we're, we're falling behind. As you can see, like, we don't have the turn, but we're falling behind. And their team comp is stronger. So if we don't, uh... If we don't get ahead early, our team comp won't win. Like we have to pull off some crazy shit. And this is a uh, this is actually something K1 Pro did, which is really smart. It's like what C9 has been doing a lot. Like even Vortex, like Fan was doing it on Jaina. They get Frost Armor, and now Frost Armor, what it does is it chills you, and every eight seconds you you block an attack for 75% damage. Zeratul with this build is all auto attack damage on your first hit. You have 115% increased damage on your auto. So because Jaina. Uh, has that like it, it really stops the burst for me it's the difference between me being able to kill her 100 percent or not and because it's like that i can't just like instantly burst her like I, I used to and not just that like if i do go on her i'm always going to be slowed because i'm chilled so it's really annoying and like right now at seven it's not like a huge deal but when she hits 16 and she has root if i go on her and she instantly reacts with an e and i'm chilled i'm gonna get rooted and i will have to e instantly either vp or i'm gonna get exploded by their whole team so like it, it's a really good counter to zero tool when there's no other threats and she doesn't need any more damage because she has illidan and kt for the follow-up so like that, that was a good pickup on him all right they get a turn in when when people get a turn in right the thing you want to do more than anything is you want to stagger out your lanes and what i mean by that is like the mobs they spawn either to the first building or wherever the closest creep creeps are so like this turn in if they spawn right now they're going to right here where the buildings are and mid they're going to right here and then in top they're going right here now you the worst thing that can possibly happen is literally you're in the middle of the lane and every single creep tumor spawns at the same or every single spot web weaver spawns at the same thing what you want to do is have it stagnated so you can have like one spawn here then one spawn here and then one spawn here and then you clear this one then you clear this one and then you clear this one and then you wouldn't take any tower damage but we don't do it that good of a job we we do get a kill here i'm pretty sure like as you can see like my damage is fucking stupid with polymorph and a hat i can insta kill even an illidan like he can't even have time to evasion he just dies in one poly we should have been doing that a lot more on the other heroes and he should have had him venom but it didn't happen and we need we really needed to abuse that fact more because they do beat us uh they outscale us see this is a good job we, we go to muradin yeah, see, this is like, if we had Venom, we would have had two kills already. Like, we really needed Venom. We, we should have had that in hindsight, but we haven't really ran this comp too much. And we were, it was a big risk to try and have a super early game comp where we just were relying on snowballing early, and it didn't pay off. Alright, so. <clears throat> As you can see, though, because we did a, actually, I'll, I'll rewind, but like, let me rewind. Ugh. As you can see against the web terrors, like I was saying, like, uh, or the web weavers, I don't know what I'm calling terrors. Alright, you see how I, I was talking about stagging, stagging them? This one's right here, so K is instantly killing it right when it's on here. Middle one is already dead, like, and then top is over here. So, like, they didn't get any wall damage. Like, that's the huge thing. Like, think about this. They would turn in 50 gems. Not only does that do, like, not much. Look how little damage, and we have a mule even. They didn't get shit. Like, literally, their turn in did nothing, and we got a free kill top. So, like, we're actually really ahead once we get in a, a turn in. It's our turn to make the play. So, right here, we do a really good job defending. Um, their, their weavers really did nothing. And so, that was really, really good defense by us. Like, really solid play. No, they didn't get shit from their thing. And they don't even have the level lead. Now, Zeratul with uh, Abathur Hat is, like, one of the highest bursts, like, you can possibly have. Him and Sonya. Sonya has the highest damage in the game at level 16 with a uh, frenzy and a hat on like no one can even get close to that damage it's it's sad it's the sad truth that sony actually has the most damage in the game but i can see i'm just trying to get a turn in i don't want to be too close to this because i don't have anything in there i want to be like far enough to the point where i can uh blink out if i have to i should be killing bottom like i said needed to go more crazy with a uh, disease but we're just trying to hit 10 at the same time as them not fall behind in xp at all i do catch out uh k1 pro we get a kill it's good I get coins, not scared. We get Void Prison. At 10 to 9, and we have this lead, we really want to turn in. We want to force a fight, so we're like, we do... The reason why we're going aggressive bottom is because we get the turn at top. This is really good. Now, on our, our Web Weavers, 
Um, we try and push. Like, as you can see, we're trying to push out as, the waves as best as possible. That's why bottom's over here. And mid, we didn't get to push it out too much. And then we're just like, fuck it. Just push out bottom, let uh, mid happen. And then they're trying to kill top, but I don't think they get the kill. It's not a big deal. And because the waves push, they have to deal with two ta uh, web weavers at the same time, which is actually a huge thing. And I'm just staying bottom. We're just harassing and chilling and shit. Don't want to let them do too much free damage to our thing. And having no bullets against a web weaver is actually really huge because it will do a lot more work. And so we're just playing aggressive as possible. Mid's pushing really hard because he has nice safe pawn, getting a lot of XP. And like I said, this is the difference between our web weavers. Look, they're all three on the same time on their turrets compared to them. And now we're getting a lot more value. We got a wall. They have no bullets. They don't have a mule. We got mid. We got, like, we got top. Like, we got a lot more value of our, our turret. And that's why we're getting an XP lead compared to them. Arthorn ultimate, um, we try to force a fight or a catch or anything like that because we know we need a small snowball and like uh, Double Zero Tool has a shit ton of bursts. It's just that they didn't, they weren't out of position. I dream comes here and then I miss my W. I should, really shouldn't be missing those, but whatever. I'm just playing passive. I try to fuck with them. If I landed a W, maybe I would have won for a kill if I had hat, but didn't play out like that. After every turn in, you after every turn in, right? Like no matter what, once the things are about to spawn, you always hit tab. You check how many gems you have. We have what 37, 40. 40 right, we have enough for turn in. They have 30, 40, 50. They have enough for turn in too. I'm pretty sure. So like, what we're seeing is is like we have to force a team fight. Our our, our Arthlon's alts down for a long time, which we actually really really need. So we need to do th two things. Either one, give up a, a turn in. Or put super pressure and force a fight and i have no clue what we do putting super pressure and forcing a fight is really risky because it's like it's something we probably should have done because our team comp is already risky and it's super early game and we're not even winning the early game so like taking a huge fight and wiping them and them losing all their gems is like our key to victory and we don't notice it so it's really bad on us and i think we just let them turn in for free because we're not fighting all right we're seeing we try and get turn in they're defending do they give us another free turn in all right, see, we noticed we need the turn in, and I guess they don't. I don't know. They let us turn in a shit ton of gems for free. That's good. Arthalon can't really turn in because he's out of there, and he has 11 coins. So it's, like, really unsafe for him, but we try and put as much pressure as possible so we can turn in. They're getting knights. Like, yeah, they get knights. Like, that was super risky on them to get knights. The reason why you don't want to get knights, especially in this fucking situation, is because they didn't look at the gems. They didn't know we have enough for a turn in. So that was a huge mistake on them. We know that they're doing nice, and once they're doing nice, I know I can go aggro on top. So I'm just like, yo, I'm going, I know what it is. If we get the kill, that you know, good, that's great. If we don't get the kill, guess what? Not a big deal. He had, he had to waste meta. If he doesn't have meta, he's not nearly as strong in the team fight. So that's why we went so hardcore on him. And then bottom starts fighting, which is good. We don't have the talent lead, but we know Illidan's not there, and I'm coming now. Soldier doesn't die here. Um, I'm trying to get in here. I do get spotted. I go on caffeine. I don't think I kill him. Yeah, he gets ulted. I can't really do shit at this point. I, I showed up too late. And Illidan's just trying to clear. His meta's down, but he's trying to get it up as fast as possible so they can actually team fight. We didn't get any kills there, um, which does kind of suck for us because we were really hoping on it. But I think it ends up for us getting a turn in, maybe. I'm just trying to catch someone out. Like, that's the thing, right? I'm trying to catch someone out. Abathur's here, so I'm just going to kill the the well, because while you're stealth, you don't get hit. They use Farsight on me. Pretty annoying. Good pickup on uh, Dunk to get Farsight. It's, it's like, considering I'm the only threat, it's really good. Alright, we got to turn in here. Anytime you can, especially with Zeratul, just chunk someone as much as possible. I, I missed another W. I really should... I really should not just throw my W and just use a follow through proc and actually just wait so I can land it because like it's the difference of getting maybe one or two more autos. And I can even chunk Muradin. I need I don't need to be scared. Like if I have a hat on me. And as you can see, when you're when you're going bottom and you're forcing people to go bottom, make sure someone's top turning in too if they have enough coins. Don't be a one threat. Arthon ults me to try and get another pick in case someone is bottom. And as you can see, we don't really go for the camps. We just push as much as possible. Arthon goes in the back. If someone was there, they would 100% be dead, but I, where were they? Yeah, they're mid and top, so they're just giving up bottom completely, which I don't agree on, but it was good because we didn't catch any of them. Alright, so we're, we're getting top up with Brightwing. He can Z in at any time, and we're pushing uh, mid with Soldier. And then bottom, right now, we're just pushing like a, as hard as possible because we need to get talent leads to win this game. So we get a bottom fort for free. I don't think we get a top fort, but it's oom, um, like it's really good. 
I actually shouldn't have showed myself bottom because now they're playing like not scared. I should have just hid and looking at it now and like went top and killed Illidan. Like I can instant kill him. Or even there, I should. I, I'm too afraid, uh, or I'm too afraid. But I'm like, I should be making a lot more plays. Consider, or like even risky, like risky ass plays, because we're not gonna win unless like we snowball harder than we are. And as you see, I'm a sh like a zero tool, right? What lots of people do is like they wormhole instantly, like right here to here, and then they like do their shit and then wormhole back. And it's like this fucking small of a wormhole. Like as you can see, when I blinked in, I walked like six steps, did my combo, and then eat out. The reason why. Wormhole has a cooldown, so if you do it, you actually are standing still for like a quarter of a second, so you can get caught. But not just that, you're so far away that unless they have blinks, they can't react to you. Can I help you? All right, so we're just pushing. We're trying to get 16. We are up in the the talent or like XP because we're pretty much just like playing them, outplaying them, and our our what do you call it? Our early game is stronger. It's just that our we cannot our team comp cannot team fight. We're shit. Like it all. So we get knights. Like knights isn't really not much we do. We know they can turn in. So like we're just like well we're, we don't have 16. We probably should wait for 16. Just get knights to counter their their turn in. We have Arthur on top. <clears throat> they do get a free turn in. We're trying to delay as long as possible. But we know he really can't do shit. I'm just trying to get a pick because need need to get a pick some way or another or at least push out the lane so we don't get fucked. Getting fat boys and knights is like one way to deal with two web weavers and you don't need to send heroes, especially now that like it's the group phase, we don't really need to power spike the 10. Alright, so we're pushing out bottom, dealing with web weavers instantly, and then alright, we push these out, we get this for free. We're just chilling as shit. I'm like, okay, what up? We go mid, deal with that. And we hit 16. Like right now that we have the talent lead. We needed to play way more fucking aggressive. Like, we we are like, we we really should be like trying to force a fight as hard as possible. But instead, we see them bottom and we go boss to force a fight. But then they just give it to us. So we're like, oh, we got the boss for free. I'm really low HP too. Brightwing gets caught, but it wasn't the worst. We did lose some uh, coins, but we got we got a boss. And they didn't have to fight a 16. To what do you call it? So they're trying to turn in. We have the thing about Brightwing, even though he's dead, when he comes back in 20 seconds, he can Z in. We're trying to get turn ins now, just like throw away all our gens. We do have enough for it, but but in, like we probably should have just pushed top. Like they they're they're dealing with it now, but like they outscale us really hard, and we're not winning early game hard enough. So we probably should have just sieged here, like really fucking hard, and try and get a keep. Like really needed to make plays or something, because they're just waiting to outscale us right now. You didn't understand what I was saying about wormhole. I'm saying on wormhole when you blink in, walk a couple secs before you just like blink and do your combo. Like, don't wormhole here to here and then do your combo. Blink from here, then walk a couple steps and then wormhole so it's a lot harder to get chased. Alright, we have web weavers now and we're trying to push hard. Like, the problem is, is like for our team comp to win a team fight is, uh, it's a lot harder. But uh, you can see right there, right? Like, all right, let me, let me rewind this and like, this is what a lot of Zero tools don't do. Uh, is like they're too scared to poke and they're too scared of getting caught for some reason but like literally when you can poke that much you might as well like oh fuck I didn't really want to know long enough alright we can go here and I, I see I know they're coming up here like I don't have sight of them I see biceps and I just do free damage to them I don't worry about throwing my W I just do Q auto and then I E out so I don't get caught because if I get stunned by him I'm just literally gonna either one I'm dead or two I have to waste my BP and those are the two things I don't want uh, we see uh, one bottom and we're pushing out three lanes so like it's really good for us we have lots of pressure and then this is the one fight that if we won we could have won the game but because we lost it we, we pretty much lose like this is what we're betting everything on and we're only two levels up we see biceps go bottom and then we just didn't get good enough focus or we could have won the fight. So we're pushing top. We really want keep. Bottom has good pressure. We see, okay, right when we saw uh, KT bottom and iDream goes in, we're like, okay, guys, his evasion's down. We can fuck with him. I'm going on Muradin just because it's free damage. I, he goes in. We all back up. His evasion's up. Okay, right when he has evasion right here, right? This is like, I threw an alt on dunk and he already met it in. He has no escape. And then KO is pretty far. 
and then it's us three, and then K1's getting really good AoE damage on us. Like, the problem is right now is that we have Arthlon splitting when he has his ult up. The second I Dream went in, went in we needed Arthlon to ult me so we can instant kill I Dream. Because I Dream has, like, the, once his, his meta's down, evasion's uh, off cooldown, and he just uses first aid. So, like, right when this evasion ends, he needs to get blown up instantly, or we're going to get fucking crushed. Because, like, Biceps or KT is on his way. So, once he actually gets there, we're fucked. Because we forced a fight pre that. So, like, they've wasted all their cooldowns. If we get the instant kill on him, we'll be fine. It's totally fine. We'll just... We'll back up and we'll be good. But because we don't kill iDream, they just chase it down. We get fucked. Alright, it's good Good Hex. His uh, evasion's gone. Um, we just don't have enough damage to kill him with only Zagara and me and Soldier. Does Soldier still have vault? I don't know. Yeah, it's just not enough to kill him. And we die. And then he get And then Void Prison runs out. And then, not just that, KO was pretty much doomed too, so he couldn't even get them all either, so like, we got super fucked. And because we lost this fight, we lost our whole lead, and like, it wouldn't have been the, the end of the world if we got a keep or anything like that, because at least we still have some type of pressure. But because we didn't get a keep, we lost a fuck ton of pressure, and we lost a lot of gems, so it was like, a double lose. It really, really sucked. Dread tries to live, he tries to Z out, doesn't make it. He tried. And then now they get a turn in, and they have a shit ton of pressure. And this is what I meant by their, uh... Their, what do you call it, their comp just outscales us in team fights. Like, our team fight, we have to get an instant kill on someone where we just lose. We try and do our best, because, like, they really can't do shit. Like, even though, like, we, we've been so ahead the whole time, like, we have full forts, they couldn't capitalize on it. It's just that their team comp really outscales us, because our team comp was an early game team comp, and now we're paying the price because we didn't win hard enough early. They're just grouping up with web leaders. We don't really have good AoE clear too, either. Like, our best thing is Night Dig Spawn and a W from Avatar. We're just trying to defend and try and fight at the same time, but like, one of one of the big problems with Zeratul Tool is like, if you're the only threat, it's hard to kill someone because you can't 100 100 0 anyone ever, even with the Abathur hat. The only time you can 100 0 someone is if Abathur clone comes on you, which even then it's like they're just waiting to see that. <clears throat> so we're trying to fuck with them. Nothing's happening, and at this point we're just like, I right, fuck it, let's both try and hit 20, and that's all we can do. I have stone skin this game because because uh, they have really high burst. I just want to survive more than anything. But even then, it doesn't even save me. And double bomb isn't gonna like change damage that much, especially with rewind. Like the the best thing about double bombs is that you get two follow through procs instead of one. But like you really don't get auto that much, especially in such high burst uh, such a high burst team. Alright, we got to turn in. We're trying to fuck with them as much as possible, but like we it, it kind of sucks. Like dunk trains even in the front, and we can't kill them. Like. If we, okay, we have Arthon. I don't know if they saw it or not. They probably did. Hopefully they didn't see it. But if they did see it, they would try and disengage. But, like, we really need to pl be playing more aggro. Like, we, I think we try and go done. Okay, yeah, me and Arthur are on the same page there. Like, right there. Me and Arth both should have went really hard on Dunk, and not just that, we needed uh, Dread to uh, Z in at the same time, like, we we weren't fully committing. On our team comp, we have to fully commit, like, if uh, if Dread goes in, Z's me, and then W's Dunk, and we both go on him, he'll instantly die. And if, let's say, someone goes on us, I can just VP the backline, and we'll be fine. But instead, it's like, we split targets, Dunk doesn't go in, and then we're just like, Soldier's just wave clearing, like, it was just no one on the right page, or we could have won the fight. It's just that our team fighting compared to theirs is... A lot harder like like i said literally i need a blink in arthon needs to have a clone on me i need a uh brightwing needs to instantly sheep someone that me and him both need to get a kill then after we do that we need to land a really good vp to disengage and then fight four versus five compared to their team comp is their win condition don't die literally do not die and then once arthlon's clone goes off we we, we can't lose the team fight like so those are the di like the difference in comps because they outscale us and we didn't see the win can do, like how to win early enough or play the comp enough to, to do it. So like it really fucked us. And they got a turn in, they just back up. Alright, fast forwarding now until something actually happens. We're just trying to clear and catch someone out as much as possible. 
okay, uh, there's another thing Lost of Zero Tools will do is like, if you blink in and there's no way good good way to harass, don't fucking harass. Just just wormhole back. Stay in stealth because it's a lot harder to see someone in stealth than fucking like when you're actually revealed. Like if I revealed myself, caffeine could have e would me. Re or I think he has iron shield, but like, yeah, he's rewind. He could have like blew my ass up. Like it would have been really bad. Instead, I just e wormhole and he's like, where the fuck did he go? I think right here we try and kill Caffeine, but we're still not on the same page. Like, we just have no threats. It's, it's the biggest problem with our comp, right? Like, if we had Asmode in to poke, fucking uh, KT to poke, Jaina for blow up, Sylvanas for silence, like, any one of those would, like, make it so our comp, like, has kill potential, but, like, they can literally be in the front and shit, and we, we can't punish it, so it really sucks. Like, I'm the only harassed, too. Like, this is the biggest problem. I, I'm the one that has to, like, literally make it so that they have no HP. Alright, they're pushing out. Nothing's really happening. Their web weavers, like I said, they haven't done shit ever. Like, they're just at the point where they've outscaled us, and it's really hard for us to win a team fight. So, we're just trying to get a team fight because if we get a team fight, we know we have a chance of winning. Oh yeah, right here, like uh, we hesitate. Our, yeah, I think we hesitate way too hard right here. Maybe we could have killed so uh, caffeine if we went instantly, but we don't go fast enough. Like, like. Like right here, he should get ulted, and then uh, Dread can polymorph him, and with the damage increase, I'll instant kill him with rewind. But we take just like I think a second too long, and then we go, and then Arthlon was two over here. I think we still get the blow up. Yeah, we still get the blow up, but I needed to make sure I VP'd this instantly. This is what I had to do. We even though we got a kill and it's a four versus five, our team comp is so weak because we wasted all our fucking cooldowns. We can't win, so I needed to instantly VP these two, and then somehow kill Illidan or Rhaegar, or, like fully disengage or something. Like, I don't, he gets a blink in. Dry doesn't die, and then I just, like, BP here, panic, and I have to let go because I hit two of my people. And it's just, like, soldiers, like, stuck out of position, and they can just kill them. And we're stuck over here, like, no cooldowns. The, the one thing that really sucks about Zeratul is that, like, you have to wait on your cooldowns to do damage. His, what do you call it, just came up. His alt, or he would have died. And, like, as you can see, our team fight is so fucking weak. Even though we got a pick, and it was a 4 vs 5, we really can't do shit. I'm trying to get a pick, but it's just that I don't have enough damage to. What are the benefits of Zach pick? Just good laning, safe laning, good sight. It's just, it wasn't, our, our team comp was really bad. Like, we needed to play really aggressive early game, and it was a hard, hard to run team comp, and we didn't execute it well enough. I'll blame a lot of it on the remake, though. That's for sure. At this point, it's literally us just trying to, like, win a team fight, and they've outscaled us. It's, like, the worst situation you could be in when, like, you, you have to risk everything on a team fight. And, and you have to be the ones to engage it because they're, they're just outscaling you, and they can do whatever they want. It really, really sucks to be in this position. But as you can see, we're losing these team fights not because of anything besides we're just not on the same page always. See, right here, I was saying, like, uh, don't kill, don't kill, what's his name? Uh, Jaina, because Jaina has frost armor. It will reduce a lot of our damage and will be slowed. We need to kill KT. And then I think he goes on Jaina, and like this is where we just lose. Yeah, like he goes on Jaina, and then he has like no damage. So I'm like, oh fuck it, I'm going, boys. Like right there, if you saw my burst, I almost killed him, but Dunk had a really good uh, lightning shield chain heal. He misclicked his R, but like, if he threw his R first, I would have killed him. He just got a good WQ, and that's what saved uh, Jaina's life. And then, I got a, a good VP, but like, Zagara isn't there to follow up. Like, like if I had Zagara, he, like, maybe like, blink over here, like, get a couple shots, and then had a, like, if, if Zagara was ready to follow up, killed, uh, like, Soldier uses ult, but like, if, maybe if KO followed up on a blink, uh, killed K1 Pro, and then right after, it had a three-man maw, and then my blink cooldown was back up, then we'd be fine. But, like, literally, like I said, like, our, our conditions of win are so fucking hard to compare to theirs. And we just lose. Boom. One thing, too, is, like, uh, like I was saying, like, we could actually do this a lot. We just need to dread to be more aggro and blink on us when we go in. Like, that's that's what I'm noticing. Like, if... if even though we went on Jaina, if uh, if Brightwing Z'd onto one of us right when we went on her, she would die instantly because she couldn't re 25 percent damage increase. Like that that's something we didn't factor in or practice enough or something. So, and that's the end of the game.
And that's pretty much how we fucked up and how we lost the game. Which game is this? Game one in the best of three against C9 in the grand finals. Alright guys, time to log on to 